Hey, my Thomas here. My youngest is out there having fun with her new puppy. We get uh, puppy come over here, Susie. Yep, that's Susie. Story about Susie is just a random guy stopped by while my wife was trying to pull out of the driveway and said, "Hey, my granddaughter got this puppy. We can't keep this puppy. Can you have this puppy?" So my wife got suckered into a puppy. Yeah, <laughs> there's that. Uh, okay, today's video. Someone commented the other day saying all you YouTube, YouTube people keep cutting nasty looking cedar logs and not all the cedar logs that we cut are nasty. This right here is a pretty good one. Um, we're just over 18 foot long. Uh, there's no heart rod if you will on the inside, no doting. And we're going to go ahead and cut this up into essentially one by sixes. Uh, I need to finish the last little bit of trim on my back porch here in the wind is atrocious. We've had 30 to 40 miles on Wednesday. But anyways, need to finish up some trim. And I need some long pieces. So I'm going to cut this beautiful 18 foot long cedar log into one by sixes. Now I've got another cedar log that's at 22 foot bigger than this and clean just like this. So yes, we do cut some nice logs of cedar every so often. We just don't get a whole lot of these down here on the Gulf Coast. Um, this log came out of central Mississippi. So I'm going to do a lot of time lapse because the wind is absolutely atrocious. I don't know how the sound quality is, but the wind's atrocious. I'm going to do a time lapse to make sure the phone doesn't bounce around too much. And then we'll see what this thing has to offer. Okay, so you never know what's going to happen. So two things happen there. First things first, this and a whole lot of other cedar bark like this actually got stuck in the sprocket and then, you know, caused the saw head not to move forward past a certain point. Then I removed that. Then I got through the log and then I went back and it did not go forward again. So I'm like, what the heck? Uh, I'll show on the at the end of the video, but one of my bunks, if you will, had moved over and it was catching a little bitty bolt on the actual saw head. Now, it just took me a second to figure it out. But again, always something. I haven't ran the mill in a while and I haven't cut anything long like this in a while. So it was right here towards the end. The one that moved over, I can't even imagine how it moved over. So, But I'll show that at the end of the video. Let's get back to cutting. Running out of daylight. I'm not gonna leave you hanging. I'm gonna show the last cut here. So, <laughs> sorry, the dog was just walking on the little thing here. Anyways, we're gonna go do the last cut. That's gonna be the closest cut to my bunks or anything. And we're gonna talk about what happened earlier, why the head would not go down the track. But this is some beautiful cedar. I'm very happy with the cedar's turned out. These are one by sixes, and I have two 
essentially two by eight or tens or something like that sitting on the deck. So let me cut this last cut and we'll talk some more. Okay, hopefully it's not too loud. I have to do this as the second take because the first one you couldn't hear with the wind. Wind's calmed down a little bit. Check out all this red. That's a lot of cedar. So what happened on this side? Okay, I moved the stack over with the log dog. This bunk right here, this is the only one other than the forward one that does not actually have a log stop like the rest of them. I don't know how, but this got moved over I was thinking, you know, and, and there's a nut on the actual carriage or on the saw head that I was catching there at the bottom. The other day I was working with a really weird log on here and I was showing someone kind of the operation of the log dog. We may have actually pushed this over, but I, I can't imagine how this singular one got pushed over unless it was point loaded in such a way because they're all kind of in alignment. So what we did is we just tapped it over, no big deal. I'll show you real quick the section where it was hitting. Just these bolt heads. Right here. You got these right here. It was just barely grazing on here, but it was grazing on here enough where it would not allow the saw head to go down. So, there's that. Um, otherwise, uh, very happy with these cedar boards turned out. Let's see if I can just push this over. You can see some of the beauty within. So, yes, we do cut... Uh, good cedar as well. I, I think this is a, a very good looking cedar board. And this is going to go on our back porch. Back porch, I have a few little trim pieces I still got to do. This will actually help me finish up that job and be one less thing off my plate that I have to do. Another thing that we've been working on is this right here, the shop. Made a lot of progress in the shop. The shop's coming together, loving it. Just very happy that I'm finally getting it together. Very sad because I essentially will not use my shop before we move. But oh well. Made my little concrete form here. We're going to have a porch out here. Uh, a little apron, if you will. Uh, this is going to be 24 by 7 and a half, About 4 and a half inches deep. So it's, it's a lot of concrete. It's actually about 3 yards worth that we have here. Um, pretty good on the form. Got a little bit of a bow out there, but I'm really not too worried about it. And I've also, underneath here, you can see I had to put the boards underneath there as well. Another thing that I've done... Let me close up this door here and you can see more of what I'm talking about. So right here, I added on this board as well as I did add on a piece of metal, which is kind of, the metal was, I had the metal piece up there initially and I'm like, well, actually, after we pour the concrete, we're going to need to put stairs here because it's still quite a step to get up in there. So what I did is I added on this two by six piece of oak right here. And left just enough room where we, when we put the actual stairs on here, I'll be able to put my one by board that goes across in this top step and kind of slide up right on top of there. And it gives me something secured to the building so it's secured. So, yeah, very happy though the way everything in the shop has turned out. I'm very happy with this door. Check out that video, it's a pretty good one. 
Um, but yeah, overall, I'm happy with my door. I'm kind of sad I won't be able to utilize this shop as much as I wanted to. Other than that, things are going well on the channel. Um, around here on the farm, I should say. We've put the wall up in my kid's room. That video will come out this weekend. I meant to get it out this week, but I've just been just swamped with work. I'm going to put this cedar video out beforehand. Um, we did this, the plumbing stuff out back. We did all the septic system stuff, so that was good. And I've just been working on the property, cleaning things up. Uh, that's been my main thing. Also, we're looking, someone had asked me, are you going to do another sawmill show before you leave the area? And at first I was thinking no, but now I'm thinking maybe. And the reason is, is because I have a lot of slabs I still have to sell. So what I might do is we might do a, you know, let me get out of this window a little bit. We might do a, the last huzzah, last sawmill show here in Mississippi that I'm going to be doing. Probably here at this location because I have all my slabs here. I have hundreds of slabs here. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, I'm going to take some of these up to Tennessee and to Wisconsin, but a lot of these, I just need to sell. So, what we might do is we might do a big old sale of slabs and a going away sawmill shindig. Maybe have uh, two, three sawmills out here. I know I can get a 1600 out here, a Woodmiser LT35, and then my 2000 mil. So, stay tuned for that. If we do something like that, it'll be like late April, early May. Um, we just got to be careful with the weather at that time because that's when we get crazy uh, springtime storms. But we're going to look at it. So there's hope. I'm saying there's a chance. So, yeah, please like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we do enjoy the comments and everything. And, again, the comment about we never cut clean logs. Well, also, I have a lot of customers who like to work with those doted cedar logs for epoxy fill. Because cedar is just so fun to work with. It's so easy to work with and yeah it's just very stable wood again please like subscribe we'll see you around thanks